Hello, friends. Uh, welcome to this uh, lesson. What I want to look at um, a question from the 2023 PCE exam, that is Examinations Council of Zambia. Okay. Okay. As you are aware, the results are <clears throat> reached. And the, the candidates who were teaching did, did very well. I think they had the over 98, close to 99% percentage. All right? Did very, very well. Very, extremely well. And we are happy. We also want to thank those that um, lived in our online lesson that they could. We told people across the country and beyond, okay? Not just people of this country, Zambia. We could teach people in South Africa, so on and so forth. Okay. And uh, the results have been extremely good, very encouraging. So we want, also want to announce that the registration for 2024 GC exams is on and lessons have started. Better you join with us, join us today so that you can learn at your pace. You don't need to panic. And the challenge with the, some of the GC people is that they want to start to leave it late, which is not good. So start now. So that we take you through all the basics, all the foundations, okay, which, is, which is what is required. So conduct us on those lines. Uh, they, we charge our charge a very flexible in line with the, 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 the technology that we are using, in line with the, the equipment that we use, all right? Because we, we buy the, uh, the equipment that we are using uh, outside this country, and it is also comes at a cost. Okay, so we charge 500 quarter per month in mathematics only and in a group. We are also teaching individuals. So if you want to be taught alone, you can uh, get in touch with us, we'll be able to advise you. Okay, we'll be able to come up with a program for you, depending on your web schedules. Right. So that is the 11th August, 2023, paper two. Okay. Section A uh, has 52 marks. Okay, so uh, <laughs> well, we one of the first. Yeah. All right, so the first question is simplify. Uh, eighteen. A to the power three divided by twenty eight. A to the power two. B to the power two divided by sixty five. Uh, A to the power four and the B. Everything divided by fifty six. Uh, okay. Fifty six A to the part two and B to the part two. 
Okay, so. This was the question. So, the best way to divide this is to introduce the multiplicative inverse. So, the power three added by 28 a to the power two, b to the power two times. So, we get the multiplicative inverse of this, we swap the fractions with the six. A to the power two. And this is B to the power four. B to the power four. Divided by 60, 65. Uh, this is paper two. We are allowed to use the calculator. Uh, A to the power four and B. Okay, so we can close change, meaning that 28 into 56, it is two. All right, this A squared and A squared will divide. B squared here is one, B squared there is B to the power two, all right? Then you can divide 65 by 13. All right? 18 here, 1. 18, 65, we have got 5. I can rewrite it here. We have got 8 to the power 3 over 1 by B to the power 2 over 5 a to the power 4 b. So a to the power 3 into a to the power 3 is 1, into a to the power 4 is a, then b there 1, b there it is um, b, so I want b divided by 5 a. Okay, b divided by 5 a. So that is the best way of multiplying, uh, multiplying or dividing things, all right? That is the, uh, remember there is two here, don't forget. There is two B divided by, B divided by five A. Okay, that is the answer. Okay, so, the next one is this one. Okay, this is 2B. Two 2B two divided by 5B. <laughs> then as in a grade 10 class, we are asked the types of things they liked. The Venn diagram shows their responses. There are all that like Fanta, Coke, and Sprite. Given that four learners liked Fanta, so you look at for uh, Fanta here, this set, the total here must be so, uh, 40, so we find the value of x. So we are going to add everything, x plus x plus x plus 2 plus 17. Answer must be equal to 40. When you add this, imply that we have three x plus. When you add to seventeen, you have got nineteen. The answer will be fourteen. I hope that is fine. Then we group the terms. Uh, I'm going to say three x is equal to forty. Minus 19, 3x is equal to 21, dividing both side by 3, 
Fc is the 7. So our x is 7. Okay. Next, find the, the number of learners in this class. So already here in this set, there are 14. So to be 14, 14 plus here, that will be 8 minus 2, that's 5 minus 7 minus 2, it is 5, that's 5. Plus is 5. Plus 5. Plus 3 and 7. 3 and 7. So 3 plus 7 is 10. 5 plus 5 is 10, that is 20. 20 plus 40. This one gives us 16. Okay. Gives us 16. Uh, how many learners did not like Fanta? So we are saying anything outside Fanta. So this is Fanta. Now, what is outside Fanta? Is a five, X minus two, three and seven. Okay. So this is five plus five. We well, 7 minus 2 here is 5 plus 10. And this is 20. Okay. How uh, many learners like two types of drinks only? Types of drinks, meaning that interested in those learners that like uh, maybe Fanta and, and Coke. Two types of drinks only, meaning that Fanta and Coke only. It may not include Sprite. Fanta and Sprite, and it does not include Coke. Then Sprite and Coke. So we have got like X plus X minus 2 plus, uh, plus what do we have? X plus 2. All right. Okay. Uh, how many learners like two types of drinks only? Yeah. So we have got two. Uh, X minus two. Okay. So X C found X to be seven. So this seven plus here. 7 minus 2, 7, uh, that one's supposed to be plus, yeah, plus, 7 plus 2, and 7 minus 2. So this will give us 7 plus 9, plus 5, all right? Yeah, so... 7 plus uh, 9, that is 16. 16 plus 5, you get 21. So basically, that is where, how you're supposed to get T, that one. Okay. That is how you're supposed to get T, that one. It was very simple. So please join our lessons today. Contact us, you should be able to. Okay, that's where we end for this presentation. Uh, in the next video, we'll go from question 2 up to um, question there. This has been Mr. Piri Amban. Till next time. Bye bye. Shalom, shalom.